All right, let's continue with the Phantom Hourglass. If you're watching this later, thanks for clicking as always. Hope you're enjoying. Hey! <laughs> Sorry. What a place, the Temple of Courage. Huh? I bet the Spirit of Courage is here. Let's keep going. I don't know. I find it strange that after the whole Navi thing, they decided to go back to something that is effectively Navi. It's not as intrusive, but still. I think they should have did what they did in Majora's, which was just use a chime sound. Or was it a brief moment where people had nostalgia for that? Just realized there was a shorter way to get up here. I thought Sumo was going to get rolled back. Oh yeah, I should probably erase the marker as well. thing is just a massive void. See ya. I mean, I'm hoping <laughs> that's something relevant. monsters with big ears are hugely vulnerable to loud sounds. Oh no. Okay. I see. <laughs> it's gonna have me do a... Uh... Yeah. I'm prepared. 
Up, down, right, then left. It's not only the order for the switches nearby, but it's the very order of the whole temple, so te take note of it. Up, down, right, left. Just double checking. Up, down, right, left. Okay. Uh, up, down, right, left. Okay. Stone hull ship part. Okay. It's easier to have the courage to cross the void later. I should note this path now. Okay. Hopefully that's correct. <laughs> okay. I should erase this now. Crystals can only fit into the same shape platforms. Does this work? Hold on, hold on. And that does work. <laughs> okay, that's that's great. That's not fun. Following the up, down, right, left.
Oh, but that's an exit, but I guess... There we go. Too far. Hang on, it's just hard to tell. Ah, oh, you dick. That's pretty cool. I'm sure I'm, supp I'm supposed to shoot these things with the arrow, but eh. It's the very same crystal. Pretty fun. I like that it's not limited by direction you're facing. You just shoot. Okay. 
Whoops. Accidentally rolled. So along the left, the other one's along the right. But you have to tap it to stop shooting. I can always deal with them, but I think I'm just gonna skip. Oh. It's temporary. Should be correct. That should be correct. It's not too bad. I, I have some health at least. Oh, go away. It's okay. This is health. Thank <laughs> you. 
See what happens. Just the sack chat. I don't get tired of it. Sometimes the mic cuts out the sound of the hair, hair dryer, but I still think it's funny. To move to the floating platform where you want, drop path on your map. If it's moving on the path you don't like, simply redraw the path. What on earth does that mean? Oh, they, they weren't kidding. See how this looks. Why is it going back now? Okay, let's just erase everything here. Recognize that as a path. Sort of. <laughs> sort of. I guess. this thing up down right left okay that's what's wrong okay I guess there's a, there's a more efficient path you can take here. It's alright, I'll just chill and have more of my beverage. Okay, down's coming up. What, what, camera? 
Oh, that's not cool. Apparently the camera doesn't pan. I'm gonna make this take like three times longer than it needs to. Lastly, just hit it, gotta hit the left. one more just to make sure there's nothing in the middle well more than just that all right but I'll wait for it to come back oh no I guess I don't have to okay all right so then from here we want to go I just want to make sure there's nothing on the edge. Wait, what is happening? Why? What? Why is it being weird? to form like a loop. Well, I guess that kind of rolls out the middle, so. I'm just going to ride it one more time. Oh, I didn't make it. What? How does this thing work? Like, it went in a perfect loop last time, and now this time it's not. satisfies what I was trying to look at. Just thought maybe there might be something hidden, but nope. Okay, let's just now... This thing is so weird. What did you do? What? Stop!
did I really almost throw the key into the abyss? Wait, what? Where do I go? Where's the boss still from here? What have I missed? Oh, idiot. I see. Yeah. Let's just not mess around. There was a lot of part to it. Imagine if I had lost the key. I almost threw it into the abyss like an idiot. Pond of the Grand Temple of the Whole Temple. Wait, Pond of the Grand Order of the Whole Temple and your path will become clear. Up, down, right, left.
Oh. Ew. I don't think I like this boss. Okay, but I got it. Damn it. Gotta watch the other camera. Sorry, just so now it's phase two, where the other map doesn't matter. All these tiny crabs are annoying. I don't think that was the way I was supposed to beat that. But sure. Victory. Those two minutes are, like, they're kind of meaningless. All they do is just let you backtrack, pretty much, because that's what you have to do, unless I'm wrong. Anyway, that's three, so... I guess we'll see where this goes now. You look just like me. What happened? Something seems weird. Something's odd, but you got the spirit of courage. Maybe you can find the ghost ship?
Okay. Doesn't look like there's any arrow spots. I think I may have just gone the long way around. Wait, is that all? I thought I'd notice something there. Does that also dig outside the tree of the dude that had... Which I didn't do, so I can do it here. Wait, how do I get back? Did I miss something? Ah, this way. Okay. No, wait, this just leads back here. What? Okay, there we go. So they said the tr there's a tree somewhere here. Here. But you can see it. Okay. Jeez. Things are so expensive. Yeah, I should probably go visit that. The, the South Island. Oh, Grandpa! What are you doing here, Grandpa? I came here to tell you something very important. Oh, something important? Yes, young one, listen well to what I have to say. Ciela, you are no ordinary fairy. Among fairies, you are a special. You are a spirit. 
Hey, Spirit, what are you saying? I mean, I, I, I don't even have any special powers. There's no way. I understand how you feel. You lost your memory. The spirit you just freed holds the powers you lost. It's time for you to return to your original form. Please bring me the spirit, Lankles. Now I will begin. How do you feel? I don't feel any different. But at the same time, everything is different. I feel alive. You're back. I've been waiting for this moment. Now you can join powers with us. I don't even know what to do. This is all so sudden. Follow your feelings. Focus with the other spirits. Focus. Deeply. Lankles. Help me, Lankles. I just heard her, Lankles. I heard a girl pleading for your help. She was calling out to you. That was Tetra. I know it was her. You've got to hurry. We have to go now. Ciela? That vision you just had. Your ability to sense evil is one of your spirit powers. You have awakened as the spirit of courage. You might not feel all of your true power yet, but someday no evil will be able to hide from you. Ankles. Come on, we'll show you to the, the way to the ghost ship. I can feel it out there, let's go. Yes, yes, you should hurry, Lankles. Head straight for the ghost ship. Hmm. I kind of wanted to explore it, but okay. Oh, man. Who, who are you, really? That I will explain when the time is right. For now, you must hurry to the ghost ship. Fine, keep your secrets, you old sea pickle. I'm just in this for the loot anyway. Okay. Hey kid, I just remembered something brilliant. When we were chasing that ghost ship, remember how it vanished into the fog? I'll bet that ghost ship is hiding in the fog. Yeah, the fog. Lay a course for the soupiest fog you can find, Lankles. Okay, first of all, I'm going here. Oh, I feel strange. I feel something creepy, an eerie tingle in my spine. Feel anything weird, Lankles? Stop right there! I finally found you, Linebacker! Oh, oh no, oh no, 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 it's her, it's Jolene, she's crazy. She's crazier than a rabid squid. Way back when Jolene and I were kids. Ah, forget it, no time for that story. Not when Jolene is gunning for our ship. Always run for, from Jolene, set a course for anywhere far away from her. 
She'll shoot torpedoes at us. Make, the sh make sure the ship can leap over them before they hit. Bah, ambush. No, we, we fight. Fiend. It has been a hundred years since our paths last crossed. Oh, what? You aren't Linebeck. You, little boy in green. Tell me the whereabouts of Linebeck this instant. Ah, keeping it a secret, are we? Playing Jolene for a fool is an unwise choice. You truly don't want to tell? I see. Well then. You will be punished! I do remember this. <laughs> hmm. Bested by a little boy in green. Linebeck, hear my words. Your pet is most skilled. Before I leave, I have but one thing to say. You. You don't think you've won because of this battle? Hear me? Read the room, Jolene. I want her sword. Whew. Crouching in one of the one of these every now and then is great for the back. Consider this a tip for getting rid of that crazy woman, Lankles. It's all yours. Hey, we're shipping out. <laughs> Let's put these waters behind us. Paid me five rupees to be his bodyguard. Oh, right. I haven't done this. Let's do this. Okay. I'm going to try my best not to break the arm this time. gotta be patient there's no real real reason to go fast other than to get it done sooner It's swaying. It keeps swaying. I'm not... I'm making it go right, but it goes left. Oh my god, this is... Why? This is way more annoying than I remember it to be. was probably not worth it though.
Bell Prowl Ship Pot. Alright. Just a hunch. Look there, that island isn't marked on our chart, Lankles. And it looks like we can dock there. There, I just added to your chart. Why not set course for us? Course for it. Okay. <laughs> I was already right there, but sure. Special delivery. Watch out incoming. This is a letter from Jolene. Ahem. Should be juicy. To my baby sister, Joanne. Many years have passed since we've seen each other. Are you well? I'm sure that you've endured heartache at the hands of some awful man. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm fine. As you can tell, I'm just as feisty as ever. You're the only sister I have in this world. We should really catch up. But I have to ask, are, um... You know... Do you still have that weird mermaid costume obsession? I think it's fine to dress up as a mermaid and have a little fun now and then. But don't wind up in some old fisherman's net, okay? Your sis, the she pirate Jolene. So it says. Uh, seems like that wasn't for you after all, Ankles. Uh, well, chalk it up to fate. Uh, do me a favor, deliver that to Joanne, would ya? I don't know who Joanne is. Good way for people to meet in Greecia. Okay, I'm off. How about you do your job? Lankles, I am the servant to the goddess of spirits that dwells in the spring. I've been waiting for your arrival. The spirits that travel with you have not recovered their true strength. To restore their power, you must find spirit gems scattered across the world. Then you must bring them here. Power gems for the spirit of power. Wisdom gems for the spirit of wisdom. Courage gems for the spirit of courage. Collect these, and the spirits will recover their true power. Then they will be of even greater assistance to you on your quest. Power. So far, you have located eight power gems. You must find two more! Okay. Well, that's the one that I have the largest amount of quantity, so... Yeah, that was the only one that was worth checking out. The rest, I, I know that I don't have many. Twenty are required for a fully, okay. Alright, so it's equivalent to the, the blessings of Din and Blob Nehru and whatever. This seems like a good spot to grind money, I don't know. Again? Special delivery. Watch out, incoming. 
Did you do your job this time, huh? This is a letter from Romanos of Melita Island. Romanos. Hello, my friend. How are you? I've recently found my way to an exciting new calling, but I can't find the right words to explain it in a letter. So next time you have a chance, stop by. You won't regret it. And here's a grand opening gift for you. Hang on to it. Okay. And that's the end of it. Got all that, sir? Then I'm out of here. You're out of here, Linebeck. Seems like something on this island would be worth the trip, but... Is he, is he saying that there's something I should have looked at, or what else? I can't jump that gap. He's right, but I'm not certain I can do that yet. This is just a fountain, there's nothing else here. I thought maybe in the middle of all the rocks, but no. Okay. I don't know. I don't have the item required to cross that gap. All right, we're heading to the traveler's ship. I need more money. I became a piece. Yeah. Okay. See so you've met him. If you could find him, maybe you could find my guard notebook. I have to go meet the other brother. Okay. Alright, uh, I'm going to... What's going on? Oh. Because it detected I collided with the ship. I need to repair my salvage arm because I am not good at the salvage part. sucked up. Oh, beetle. I don't wanna- I don't wanna... I wonder if beetle does that on purpose. That- I feel like that's- that's happened three times already. Just purposely runs the collision course so you're forced to stop. Stop.
We're salvaging that. So either gonna go one or two ways. I'm gonna get my money or I'm gonna lose the arm, but I think this is worth the risk. Wait, there's nothing here. I thought when you sink a pirate ship, I guess maybe I'm thinking of Wind Waker. And there's not a not a not a lot of point to trying to fight a pirate ship. an arrow spot. Okay. Thought so as well, but... First, get the cannon repaired. Come on in, you've drifted into the shipyard. Got parts? I'll set up your ship. Need salvage arm fixed? Do that too. Hey, that salvage arm is gonna be pretty banged up. Gonna be useless soon. Fix it for you for 50. Oh. So if you mess it up, it costs you a hundred. Good to know. Customize, okay. What does it do though? Explanation. This bell chime, the bell doesn't chime, but it gives it a nice look. I got something else. What was the other item I got? I had another one. I found two ship parts. Or maybe I didn't, hmm. I'll leave it for now, I guess. Okay, ship stamina goes up if you use a set. good way of remembering things. Thank <laughs> you. 
A cliffside not so far from here has a w hidden weak spot. Shine a beam parallel with a line between the temple and the tavern. Parallel between the temple and the cavern. I mean, I know where the tavern is, so... between the temple and the tavern. Let me read it again. Shine a beam parallel with a line b oh, oh, I see. Just be that. No, that. Stop. Let's assuming that's the tavern. I'm thinking that's the tavern. But like, if I'm not wrong, like that should be it. I guess it could also be the other way. Until I see a visual indicator. Oh, something here. Should go verify where the tavern is. But I'm pretty certain it's like this. Oh. Does it mean... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, got it. Doing some scouting. Seems to be bigger. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a cave entrance here. And I can erase this. There we go. Oh, unless a bridge gets built. <laughs> okay, a bridge got built, never mind. We don't need that other cave. I mean, I'll still put it there, but... You know what? I might... I might do something else as well, just to remember. I'm gonna say there's a lake in that cave. Just in case it ever comes up. Hey there! What a gift to meet you. My name is Friedel. I am but a humble singer who travels the world over with guitar in hand. In honor of our meeting, how about a song? Just a little ditty about a whimsy. It's called Magic Box. It's a box full of magic! 
put in parts of treasure after a time, look inside and see a surprise. Truly pecu peculiar. From one hand to another, magical box indeed. Glorious exchange. Magical box. Find out what's inside. Ta-da! Yes, indeed. Tis the truth about these magical boxes. Put in ship parts and treasures you don't want. You'll exchange them with other players that you connect to. No matter if it is through tag mode or battle mode. Oh, what could be in the magical box? Find out. Give it a try. Place unwanted ship parts and treasures inside. Unfortunately, this game mode is useless. As there is no one I am playing with. I will take your treasure chest, though. Okay. Well, I'm content. We're gonna go chase after the ghost ship now. Okay. Sorry, I missed I missed the message. <laughs> I was looking at the DS so much I completely forgot about chat. It's alright. It happens. It must have been from when I did the salvaging thing. <laughs> that was roughly eight minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't I a good screamer? Around then. Yeah, that, that was the point in time where I started looking at my DS and was focusing heavy on not breaking the arm. And then I guess I just didn't look up since then. That's okay. No, I don't want to... Beetle, just... Why do you try to ram my ship? That's a business strategy for Beetle, is set a course to intersect with another ship. Now, what's going on here? The ship is suddenly stuck. Oh, hey, Lankel. Sorry for the unscheduled stop. Something happened down here and the engine just went nuts. I'm sure that evil ghost ship is the cause. Yep, no doubt about it. With that thing around, I guess I'd better get this engine into tip-top shape. Hey, kid, leave it to me. You've got other things to worry about. You take the helm, and aim at the ghost ship. Honestly, how am I supposed to know? Use your head. I'll help you find the ghost ship, Lankles. The spirits of power, wisdom, and I will join up to help find the ghost ship. Ugh. Do you have to be so enthusiastic all the time? This is a test of our resolve- oh wait, wrong voice. This is a test of our resolve line, Beck. You're no help at all, are you? Exactly right. I guess it's up to you then. 
You have to steal ankles. Okay, listen up. You need some practice steering here. Here's how this is gonna work. Set the engine to go to make the ship move, then steer the ship right. Touch right and then left. Yeah, okay. You can touch anywhere on the screen to steer, not just on the wheel. Pay close attention to the spirit's reaction to turn the ship. They'll go wild when pointed more directly at the ghost ship. Now go. I don't like this. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Stop. They stopped. Okay. I think I know where it is. Or sparkles. There it is. All right. Hey, where did my sparkles go? Unless the ship is moving still. I think it's moving. Finally found the ghost ship. Let's climb aboard. <laughs> really enjoying the three second melody they have going there. I mean, most of the islands are that. I think this game probably had uh, storage issues and that's why the songs aren't that complicated. That would be my guess. Like think about the island theme. The exploration one. So this is Oh, so, 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 so this is the ghost ship everyone is t -t -t talking about. It's even scarier than I imagined, and I can imagine scary stuff. What, is Lineback shaking over there? He's such a cuckoo. Oh, put a crab in it. Just got a chill, is all, uh, one of those frigid Norwesterner winds. So, yeah, uh, anyway, you just... Charge on the head, Lankles. I'll catch up with you as soon as I, uh, warm up a little. Meanwhile, try to find your friend, Tetra. And make it fast, kid. I get it. Lineback's nothing but a frozen, clucking cuckoo. Why don't you wait here, shivering? You just get real comfortable. Maybe you'll lay an egg. <laughs> Shut up, Sparkles. We find treasure, don't expect any shit, but I don't, I can't even read now. I'm so tired. You can shovel that treasure right into these pockets. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I needed to put effort into the chicken sound, I don't know. Okay. 
Okay, that's nothing. Stop. Is this the end of the game? I hope not. I don't think so. Look how many heart containers I have. There's no way. I would imagine this is the... the turning point. Usually in these games, it doesn't matter which one you play, there's an early phase where you collect a certain number of items, and then, you know, you go to the big area, you bait something, and then something happens as a plot point, and then the game becomes bigger. Okay. It is definitely shorter than other ones, but it's not that short. Sobbing. Oh, you. Could you be the legendary Lankles? Yes. Oh, you finally came. I am the youngest daughter of the great house of Cubus. Cubus? My sisters were living in peace when we were suddenly snatched away. We've been locked up on this boat ever since, waiting to be saved. But everything is fine now that you're here to rescue us, Lankles. This is your chance to be a true hero. Will you save my older sisters? They're locked up somewhere on the ship. There are four of us sisters in the Cubus, Cubus family. I just couldn't bear it if I was the only one saved, Teehee. Please bring my older sisters to me. Okay. Thank you so much. The ship is very dangerous. Most of the abducted have fallen victim to the Reaplings in the hold. I must say they are fallen. Fallen! They are the fallen! Oh, excuse me. Never mind that. I don't know what came over me. I'm so very worried about my sisters. Please hurry and rescue them. Wish she luck. Yeah, no, it's not like this is... I'm sure I didn't think anything could be alive on the ship, Lankles. Thank goodness that Cubus girls are still alive. Hey! I'll bet they've got Tetra locked up somewhere, just like the Cubus sisters. I'm guessing those Reaplings in the hold are real scary. But it doesn't matter, we've got the girl to help out. We've got to help out that girl. Maybe the older sisters who are locked up will know where Tetra is. I was gonna say, like, oh gee, like, this hasn't happened multiple times across these games where you have to rescue someone, and then that someone ends up being the boss. Gee, I wonder if this, this girl is going to be the boss of this area. It's just a common theme. funky thing about the bow is you gotta tap it to stop shooting.
Oh, what? No, come on. Oh, this is bad. I'll be fine. I feel like this, this is the time to be doing that. Is this a thing? Yep. No, it's not. Okay. They're just... Tease, it would appear. I don't want to rely on finding heart pieces. That's, uh, that's not cool. The safe spot has a spider that drops on you, so it's almost like you have no choice but to take a hit. there. Aha, so my younger sister asked you to save me. I see. I am the third sister of the House of Cubis. Lankles, will you please take me to where my younger sister is? So that's we can become one. That's pretty much what's gonna happen. I hate spiders. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. Let's keep going. Oh, this is good. This is going to be annoying. <laughs> I already hate this. Especially because these spiders appear to be respawning. This chat is what we call artificially extending the game. Yeah, walk through the fire. Yeah. That's that's certainly not a not a red, red flag that she can walk through the the flames. Oh, big sister. There you are, little sister. I'm so happy that you're okay. Thank you very much, Lankles. Uh, I'm so very sad that my older sister was not with Tetra after all. Will you please, please bring my other two sisters back here? We will be hoping for your safe and swift return. We will be eating this candy while we wait. Smirks on our faces. What do you mean smirks on you? I mean, I know what they mean. Like the. that so I don't think there's anything to do yeah you know this isn't a red flag at all ha! 
fault! Did you see that? That monster is even scarier looking than anything we've seen before. That's probably one of the Reaplings the Cubist girl was talking about. Treasure first. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about the root pause. How does that even work? You lost ten rupees. I forgot about root pause. Oh, who are you? Ah, I see. I am the second daughter of the House of Cubus. Oh no, I've never heard of anyone named Tetra, but enough about that. Oh, won't you escort me back to my dear young sister? Oh yes, thanks, Lankles. A lovely treasure rests here. There are two chests. If you must pick one, definitely pick the left. Left, left. Yes, the left. You know which one is left, of course. Good. You're a smart boy. So, she wants me to pick the one that fucks me. Oh, you took the treasure? Okay, how unlucky for you. That's the red flag! Yes, please, bring me back to my darling sister so we can become one. Uh-oh. 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 Where does this crystal go? Yeah. Oh, that works. It's fine, don't worry. I mean, that's all you need to know, is the Reapers aren't targeting them. And... Wanted me to pick a chest that, uh, messed me up. So just do the opposite of what they say, from now on. Big sister. There you are, little sister. I'm so happy that you're okay. Thank you so much, Lankles. Oh, but it seems as though this sister was not with Tetra either. Will you please bring my last sister back here safely so that we become what? I feel like this one I'm gonna find out on my own anyway. Oh, 
What? Come back here. Okay, chat, you saw that. Steel drum storage ahead. Flip the switch. The switch on the left is straight ahead. Hurry up. The steel drums are giggling to themselves, waiting for you to free them. <laughs> no. No! No! gets confused and then it turns around. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Eye frames. Let's go to white. Some things in this world were meant to be pulled. Okay. <laughs> Two, four, five, one, three. Ponus. What do you mean? Two. Four. Five. One. Three. Unless it goes the other way around, which in that case it's... Two. Four. Five. One, three. What? Two, four, five, one, three. Two, four, five, one, three. Unless it's somewhere else. I guess it's not these switches. I, I've done it in the order at last. I did what was commanded of me.
How am I supposed to get past this thing? I feel like I just have to YOLO it. Unless the sign is lying and I do- no. If I do it the other way around. Three. One. Five. Four. Two. Nope. What? Did I... Am I, like, that tired that I didn't read it properly? What does it say? Two, four, five, one, three. There is always an order in which things must be pulled. Feel like I lo I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Let's see what this thing says. Doing different orders to everything. What? What is this? Why is this being weird? There's gotta be another clue that I've missed. Which is on the left and straight ahead. Hmm. 
What? What is wrong with this? <laughs> there's no other. There's no. There's nothing else with switches. I tried two, four, five, one, three. I've tried three, one, five, four, two. I've tried them going left to right and right to left, and neither combination works. Why? There's something that I've overlooked, and it's it's going to it's going to be annoying. try one more time. That's two. Can't be this. Why is this being weird? This is what I don't get. That's two. One, two, three. That's four. Or maybe there's something else to it. Hang on. Do they have numbers? Or do they have numbers written on them? No. hasn't worked, I'm just gonna do brute force. This is annoying, but... These switches are dumb. Okay. Two... Four... Five. One. Three. Wait a minute, what if it's... Two from the edge, okay. And then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then from this one, um, once, one step. No, but it doesn't work. Oh, which one's one step? This one's one step. This one's three steps. And then this is all that's left. I mean, I think I understand, but this is stupid. This is such a dumb puzzle. This should have just been pull, pull the switches in the order that it told you. But I think the way it works is from the edge, 
you figure out which one's which. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> I got through it. I would not be able to tell you my logic again. I was just... Well, what happened? That freak has the ability to go through walls. I bet it can even face through walls. Thanks for stopping me and giving me a heart attack. Sorry, that, that was such a dumb puzzle. Oh, you found me. I was getting so lonely sitting here by myself. Who are you? I see. Well, I am the eldest of the sisters of the House of Cubus. Please take me to my younger sisters, Langle. Yes. There's one thing I have to tell you. The creepy creatures with the hood and sickles are called Reaplings. They are evil, but they are even more devilish when they're angry. So no matter what you do, don't shoot arrows into their back. Kill them, but it doesn't. They are 100% doing that on purpose. They're streaming to alert them. Uh, yeah, that was quite the ordeal. It should be a red flag. This should be a red flag. <laughs> they want you to walk slow, and they scream so the reapers come. Trusting too much in the kindness of others. I'll be so glad to get this dungeon done, honestly.
Don't you dare. Okay. Oh, big sister. There you are, little sister. Circle around, sisters. Time for some quality family time. The Reaplings should have scared the life from this boy in the hold. Doesn't he know how he's supposed to play along in this little game? Teehee, all it means we're going to have to play extra up. Aw, did you come here to save Tetra, little man? Oh, no, no. Instead, we'll play with you the same way we played with her. It's game time, girls. Let's show Lankles the way to the play field. If you want to save Tetra, you'll have to play a match of Dead Man's Volleyball first. Okay, well. Are you big enough? Are you a big enough boy to return these volleys? like the classic Aghanim's fight. Except I hate that I have to swipe. This is not going to be fun. I just, I don't have to be facing the direction that auto locks, so that's good. I just hate how like the gesture sometimes doesn't go through quick enough. Okay, final. One more. Oh, 
What? Still not over. I really don't like this fight. <laughs> it's not it's not as easy as it seems. Okay, there we go. Jeez. You really know how to play, Lankals. Gosh, we'd love to reward you, but we don't have any trophies for you. Instead, you can track that precious Tetra of yours with you. Goodbye! You got the ghost key. You can unlock the door sealed with ghost power. Hi! That was amazing, Lankles. You beat those wicked volley girls at their own game. Come on, let's use this key to rescue Tetra. Heart piece, please. Does it want me to go? I think I know. Yeah, the door over there. Okay. I thought that was the boss key, but... Okay. Yeah, I can go back to this. Is that Tetra? I guess since there's nothing... Nothing there. What are we going to do? She's a statue. Oh, hey. Sorry I'm late, kid. That fog just disappeared, so I charged in to find you. So, about that treasure. You got piles of it, right? How... How can you even say that? Lankel's friend is in trouble. And all you can think about is treasure? Oh, so, uh, this is your friend. She's looking a bit pale. Ooh, something isn't right with this girl. Her soul didn't get sucked away, did it? This evil ship drains her life force. Grandpa, what are you doing here? If you've come this far, Lankles, the power of the hero is with you. Now is the time for me to tell the rest of the story. You're a clever boy. You may already know this. You see, these seas are my domain. I am not Oceus. I am the Ocean King. I was savagely attacked by an unfathomable evil. Um, his name is Bellum. 
His evil ran so deep that it leached the very life force from me. As you know, every creature in this world possesses a sacred power. This power is called life force. The sand of ours is a physical manifestation of that power. And that is what brought them here. I struggled against my attacker in, great, in a great clash. But his evil was so dark that it slowly drained away my own life force. He was always a step ahead of my attacks and I was eventually overcome. I was dragged to the sunless depths of the temple. Sealed up, my life force continues to drain away. Using the life force he leached from me. His evil spread and bred more and more foul monsters. The spirits of power and wisdom were also imprisoned. But Ciela managed to split her soul and escape. That split was why so much of her memory was lost. Even among the monsters born of the sand of ours, some are especially evil. The phantoms who roam my temple take after the evil of their master. Supernatural strength wrapped in plate armor, virtually invincible. They prowl at the temple, searching for victims. No one can harm them. Of course, they were created to be untouchable. I only had one option. My ocean of strength had drained to just a puppy. Using my last ounce of strength, I cloned myself just as Ciela did. Then I made a humble home on Merkay Island. I used the sand of hours to make the hourglass and enter the temple. I studied my fur, searching for ways to defeat Bellum, and waited for my chance. Ciela, I'm sorry I could not come any sooner. Or tell you any sooner. I was worried about the spirits of power and wisdom. Never expected to find you on the beach. You'd lost your memory and monsters were nearby. I thought it best keep quiet until the time came. The sea's islands are rich with life force. The evil things must have appeared to devour that. They just want to fill their empty bellies. They hunger for life force. The ghost ship was made to drain that life force. They used the story of treasure to lure people in. It wasn't enough for Bellum to seal my life force. He had to take what little he could from the people. Tetra must have had a bold, vibrant soul. The ghost ship was drawn to that power. She didn't find it. It found her. Wait, so you're saying that there's no treasure? Yes, that's what I'm saying. From what I can sense, Tetra is still alive. Defeat that monster before my life force is depleted. I must get the sand of ours back. With it, I can return Tetra's life force and restore her. There is an island north, the Isle of Gust. Go there and find Zaus. He is a blacksmith. He will tell you more about the great evil. He knows how to slay Felon. This is some kind of sick joke, old man. The treasure? What about all the treasure? That was the only reason I put my life on the line. And now there's no treasure? Well, I quit. You quit? Didn't you even listen to his story? You're a man of the sea. Don't you want to help the Ocean King? No. And you can't use my ship anymore. 
No, no. I would never ask you to do this for free. If you help us defeat Felon, I will grant you one wish. What do you say to that? Hey, quit standing around, kid. The Ocean King is in trouble. Ship out, kid. Anchor's away, I say. Move it. Hmm. One word about a wish and he leaped into action. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have evolved you and Tetra in all this. With your power, you can defeat Bellum. My real body is sealed away deep in the temple. Bellum should be there too. Normally, I would be fighting this battle myself. But you are our only hope. We're counting on you, Lankles. What are you doing, Lankles? Grab that friend of yours and get back to my ship. Okay. Uh, back to all this. There we go. All right, Lankles. We've got to get out of here. This is no time to sit around with your mouth hanging open. The old man said that Zaus, the blacksmith, holds the clue we're looking for. We have to find that blacksmith and defeat Bellum. And then? Then the treasure will be in my hands. <laughs> What's with you? Hey, do we really need to take this guy with us, Lankles? <clears throat> anyway, let's get going. Zaus lives on the island to the north of the Isle of Gust, right? It should be a short trip from here. Yep, let's stop wasting time. Let's go. Ship out. What is this? This is... North of the Isle of Gust, so we're going here. Banan Island? It's okay. I looked away for a sec. I put the DS down on, on the desk. And then I saw the barrel. It's alright, no harm. Did not take damage. We're okay. Oh no. Jolene. Really? That's where I was headed. Look there! That island isn't marked on our charts. Oh no, this is a different island, and we can dock there. Oh. That's what that X was for. Okay. Cancel. Let me just erase that. There we go. I guess that means the other one must be an island too. Zaus's Island. Yeah, you want to talk about repetitive music? The theme when you're exploring islands, it's just... Pretty much like a five second loop. Hmm. Um, I'm gonna put a marker here. Because I imagine it's gonna co come in handy. That seems something very specific. Here's another one. I'm gonna walk around the island. There's probably multiple of these. There's another one. See if I can deduce what this is. 
There's another one. Find the stone that lies east and west of this island. Okay. Connect the eastern stones with a line. Do the same with the western stones. Okay. Dig where the extensions of these lines intersect. Oops. Roughly there. Okay. Here. Otherwise, dig dig in the general area will be fine. Oh, there you go. Got it right. Okay, guess we can erase. I'll still leave them, but. In case we need to do anything with them. Whoops. And I'll put this as an X because there's treasure there. I need to figure out where to get that. Somehow we got we got treasure. All right. Oh, I already know how. Sorry to interrupt your hammering, but are you Zaus? You are the ones looking for Bellum, aren't you? You may not have seen many years, but looking into your eyes, I can tell you are the hero chosen by the Ocean King. Old Man Oceus told me all about you. What is your relationship with the Old Man, anyway? See, for generations, our ancestors lived to serve the Ocean King. They defended the Ocean King in an age when great evil lurked in the sea. My people forged their own weapons and fought epic in epic battles. You seek one of those great weapons, an artifact called the Phantom Sword. So we need that sword to defeat Bellum, like Grandpa told us? That's right. Bellum has the power to drink life force from you. Only the Phantom Sword can slay him. Now you must find the Phantom Sword and defeat him, Lankles. Okay, let's get Balam, Blankles. So, Zaus, will you let us borrow that Phantom Sword? I no longer have it. What? You don't? No, I do not. You've got to be kidding. Why tell us how we should defeat Balam when it's pretty much impossible? Don't jump to conclusion. I am Zaus the Blacksmith. I may not have one now, but I can make one. Oh, you can? Okay, then. Well, what are you waiting for? Make one. I can't. You can't? What do you mean you can't make one for us? Are you joking? The Phantom Sword is no ordinary sword. When forged, normal metal can never handle that kind of sacred power. Aquanine, Azurine, and Crimsonine. These three pure metals must be forged together to create the Phantom Sword. 
Come on, Lankles, let's go find those three pure metals. So where can we find these three metals? Long ago, the Ocean King gifted the pure metals to the three tribes in this world. The three tribes must have passed these treasures down in generations. Visit those tribes and they should be able to tell you the location of the metals. Three tribes? But where are we supposed to go? We've traveled a lot, but we've never met someone who'd have a pure metal. You must go in search of sea charts. You will need more sea charts in addition to the ones you already have. And to the Temple of the Ocean King to get the next chart. But we already got to the bottom of the Temple of the Ocean King. There weren't any other paths we could have taken. There was a door that you could open by drawing a symbol, was there not? If you draw the symbol on the door, another way should open. Wow, who knew that door had such an amazing secret? Make note of that symbol and let's go to the temple, Lankles. Good luck out there, Lankles. Um. Okay, this is a problem, though. Because I can't write... I'm gonna write it down on this map. It's just a Triforce, but it goes from top corner down. This is a little bit of an oversight. Because <laughs> usually the information, you use it on the map, but now you actually have to memorize it. I'll just... Oh, what a sword! Pure metal, hey now! Why is it every time we find I'll follow you until the end, but only because of how desperate you are, and then you'll have... you'll beat that bell. And got that, Lankles? All right, let's just set sail. I can't be bothered. <laughs> okay. Can I just... Ooh, hang on. She's chasing me, so I gotta go this way. Scratch that, stop, reroute. She's not chasing anymore, go down this way. I mean, if I could pick the, the map specifically used for that part, then that would make sense, but I can't. Uh-oh. She might wrap around and get me. to the next map before I think we're okay no red alert all right we're fine that was a bit of a weird path I drew because I was drawing off one hand <laughs> <laughs> with the DS in an awkward angle. Come on. I avoided that. I can't believe that's a thing.
special delivery. Watch out, incoming. This is a letter from Linebeck? Ahem. Here goes. From Linebeck to Lankles. Okay, this is weird. Why am I writing to you when we're together all the time? But just give me a moment to remember why I was writing you. Oh. So I'm writing because, well, I'm grateful, alright? Happy now? Thanks. Okay. There. I've said it. Well, this is awkward. What's next? How about, thanks for working like a dog for me, you treasure. Dog. See? That's something you can't just say to a guy's face, you know? One more thing. A gift to show my thanks. Keep it to yourself. Or else. I just found that. And that's the end of it. Got all that, sir? Then I'm out of here. He, he just sent me a part that I just found. Oh there. Sorry for being so loud, I thought you were going to walk on by, so I got a little too excited. Anyway, have you heard about the Chief of Frogs? Nope. You're likely to encounter many golden frogs swimming in the sea, but one of them reigns supreme, a giant golden frog that rides on the wind. I do believe that he's been spotted around here. Oh, the sea holds such mysteries, that's what makes it so alluring. Now, here's a secret that I'll share with you. I've come across a treasure map. Want the treasure map? Sure. Thanks a bunch, here you go. And they say, as they say, X marks the spot. Sail there, then use your ship's salvage arm. <laughs> um, Cackle DD, I'm teller, the teller of treasures. Bulbul's beauties, I can sort tripe from treasure. Show me your belongings. Treasure. Gah, what's this? Such trifle. 50 rupees, no more. What's this? A common sort of thing. 150 rupees at best. Common sort of thing. 150 rupees at best. I feel like this dude is random. Where's this pot that I got? Ah, oh, you dick. That's why. Okay, that makes sense. There's gaps, which... Yeah, I mean... That bothers me. <laughs> it shouldn't do that. You shouldn't have to scroll to see... that. Oh, yeah, no, there's one more. Yeah, I knew I had more shit parts. Yeah, this, this, uh... This does not make me happy. Such a trifle. No. Who are you? Hang on. Tell her a treasure. I think- I'm pretty sure this works like a stock market. Um, let me just see. Teller of Treasures. Treasure Teller. Okay, let's see. Eight? Okay. When an item is appraised, the amount of rupees for that item will be fixed for the rest of the game. The amount of rupees for each item will differ from one game file to another. The amount will be 150, 50, 150, 800, 1500. 
If a customer tries to sell an item that is not interesting, barely worth a mention and move on. Alright, so... But then, hang on. Do you do anything else with the treasures? That's, that's all I want to know. Phantom uh, glass. Okay, hold on. Uses. To the Ho Ho tribe who will buy it for a higher sum on certain days. Interesting. Okay. But they just use this treasure. Alright, I'll leave it for now. Not for 150. Another earthquake. I can sense it. It's coming from the temple deep beneath it. The bell so Bella must be causing the earthquakes that keep rallying the item. Hurry, let's get that sea chart and find the pure metals. Um, is this a thing? No, okay. Just checking. Now, let me see something here. Okay, so there is no there is no fast travel. Okay, well This is the stopping point for Phantom Hourglass for today. I left it so we continue from here next time. Uh I'm gonna play Metroid, so give me like two to five minutes. I just wanna stretch my legs and then we'll do some Metroid. No. <laughs> what do you mean, no? Nah, I'm doing Metroid. Uh, yeah, if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and if you wanna help stream, just do the thumbs up thing. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah. See you, YouTube.